Hello, hello, my name is Cover Subs and welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, this is actually the first Switch game I've ever recorded, and just like Arceus is saying to us, welcome to my realm, located both beyond time and space. Well, beyond both, but thanks to the dyslexia, I get it wrong. It is well, Larat here. I am which humans call Arceus, or Arceus. Stubbs. Yes? Yes, almighty God? Seek out our Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. I shall do that, God. I shall do that. This is my born-again story about a man trying to find God. Look at us just floating away. Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> Did I... die? Well, at least my smartphone's here. Whoa! No, come back! I need my internet memes. What's going on? It's all coming together. And there he is, it's God! Why do you want my phone? Can I have it back? Since I died, is this technically Nizakai? Because <laughs> I'm going to a wondrous place filled with magical creatures known as Pokemon, which in Nizakai's you die and then get magically transported to a place with, you know, wondrous things beyond your imagination. It's just like that book I was reading, or video game I was playing, or thing I was doing. But welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Wake up! Ooh, do wake up, won't you? The Pokemon are talking to me? Are you alive, my girl? I mean, kind of. Hello. How are you? Just gonna quickly stand up here, look about this place. And there's no buildings. Oh god, we're in the past. Hello. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. I gave myself quite the shock too. How did I get here? But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Well, that's good. Who are you? <laughs> I'd like to ask you the same. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I asked first. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now. Who in the world does that? Me? I do that. Have you never heard of skydiving? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in this part, would you? I, yeah, I doubt it. I don't think anyone's going to recognize me from around here, my guy. You do seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Yes, I am. I can offer you directions. Do you have somewhere you could stay? No. <laughs> I fell out of the sky. Do you think that means that I know what's going on here? So you don't know anyone? You don't even know where to spend the night? No, I do not. This is a proper pickle indeed. Are you sure you'll, you'll be able to survive? Oh gosh, I don't know what to do. However, will I survive in this godforsaken land? I'm in an area that I've never known about. But luckily, I've reincarnated with my smartphone. <laughs> well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Oh, well, thank you, mysterious stranger. Boom. Boom. And plish plash. I like you three. No. <laughs> I must apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. I am Lavington. I am something of a Pokemon professor. I am something of a Pokemon professor myself. That is to say, I am a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Pokemon is these three here. Wait a minute. Where are they off to? My Pokemon, no! Oh, blast and bother my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? Please come back. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg of you. <laughs> wait, you three, wait! Right, let's get moving, shall we? And go collect that mysteriously weird, bright, shining object over there. That's definitely not something important. <gasps> I'm getting a phone call. Finally, civilization! There's a glowing, beeping object over there. I wonder what it could be. It's your smartphone, or something that resembles it at least. It's probably yours, but it changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Beep beep. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Hello? I was so upon me the Arc Phone. And my mission, seek out all Pokemon. Uh, excuse me, this was my phone. I, I still have 12 months left to pay on it. Why did you change it? I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure the company won't care. Hello, Professor? 
Yet another miss. Ah, I'm glad you came to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing. Do you think you can do it for me, perhaps? I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these things first. Well, we already know that. This one's Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. As a Pokemon professor who apparently owns these Pokemons, I have no idea what they do. Oh, he's so adorable. And there is the best one from Generation 2, Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Oh, look at him go. And last we do, we have Oshawa. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawa. It's a cute little guy who naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Here you are, my girl. Pokeballs, throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50? 50? Back in my day, you were given five, and just told to go at it. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. So then, is this even Pokemon anymore? So, we've got 50 Pokeballs, we can craft Pokeballs. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you've mentioned what Pokemon are, they're marvellous creatures. But why do we get so many? What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. Don't worry, I can catch the Pokemon. I know how to throw a Pokeball, I think. Yeah, it says there, ZR to aim. Wait, ZR? Oh, ZR is this one. <laughs> I'm there pressing the <laughs> pressing the, the, left, the left trigger thinking ZR. <laughs> Wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Stubbs. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways are left now. Still, it's most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Oh, yeah, I'll catch them. Hi. No, 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 no. Don't run away. Don't run away. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Good job. Caught in the quill. Can hardly believe it, Stubbs. It's incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? So I don't know how this game's going to play out, but if the conversations go for too long... One, it'll stray my voice, and two, if it goes unnecessarily long for like information that isn't really viable to the story and they just start waffling on, I think I'm going to get rid of it. What? Oh, I've caught you as well, Wallet. Or maybe not. Ah, yes. I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. Come here, Rowlet. Oh, I forgot I put that in the settings menu. I can right click so I can get screenshots. Look, I got a phone. Seek out all Pokemon? That object is an arc phone, you say? It's an odd device. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? Yes, it does. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. There's something I'd like to share with you. Believe it or not, God gave me that smartphone. Yes, God. The actual God. The Almighty. You know, the one people pray to. Arceus. That guy. Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Uh, I'm kind of peculiar about talking to strangers. I said I don't want to talk to strangers. You know what? You've convinced me. Third time's the charm and whatnot. Then whoever, and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've got a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me to Jubilife Village. Walkie walkie walk. Oh my god, what's up there? Is that where I fell from? It looks kind of nice, to be fair. I mean, if out of all the portals to fall out of, it's kind of 
all right looking. It's not too sinister. The grey cloud is, but, you know, that is what it is. Oh, my God, where are we? This doesn't look like the place I know. I'm from the Kanto region. I've never been here before. I only know of 151 Pokemon. I need to go report that we've successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask you for wait, to wait for me at the canteen? Sure, I can wait there. It's just past the bridge, then to the left, the Wallflower it's called. Yeah, I can do that. Bye. Oh my god, a phone call from God. It's beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. God's spying on me. Uh, use the minus button so you can get your map. You will also see guidance markers. Well, that's kind of nice of them. Hello, good sir. How are you? Oh god, you don't like me, do you? What's wrong? Well, now, well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? But I'm literally the wallflowers for Galaxy Team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Discrimination in my Pokemon game? She, she looks so upset. It's like, damn, I fall out of the sky. I almost get attacked by a Pokemon. A strange professor's talking to me, and this guy's just told me to go away. Who in the world are you? And what's that bizarre garb you're wearing? It's called a t-shirt. A Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothing. Where I'm from, Pokemon don't exist. For you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. The professor did. Stubbs here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Oh, he didn't like that then. He's like, dude, what the hell? As in, she's going to join the survey corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. So you have no idea who I am. You insult my clothes and now you're saying I'm a misfit? I don't like you. I'll allow it. <laughs> Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey call, that is. Oh, where are you walking off to? She... She has nothing to do with me, Lynn. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal with some pleasant conversation then, eh? Well, that was a good meal. Thank you very much. I don't have to pay, do I? That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. You're awfully vaxxed about all this. You do know that we won't get to have Stubbs join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Ah, not to worry. I have complete confidence in Stubbs' skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Stubbs, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use the quarters lair. So I got free food and a free place to sleep. This is sick. Finally, I could be a homeowner. Just a couple of hundred years beforehand. Just like real life, if only I invested in real estate when I was about eight years old. If you fail to pass the trial, we put you... <laughs> we put to you... Tomorrow? God, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Did death in my Pokemon game? So we've got discrimination and just straight up talking about death? I really was as a kid. Captain Silene's like history. In a way, they're both plenty harsh. And now, simply put, she's put on a stern front to keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? Oh. Still. People falling from the sky? That's some kind of story. I guess this would be our home sweet home. Yeah, it's not much to look at, but it's already got tomatoes and garlic. It's too bad I don't really eat them. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Oh, my shoes are off. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information. You can press the up button to open the menu at any time. That's cool. Yes, yeah, handy tips for the members. Don't forget to keep your recording safe by saving. I will do that as well. But first, let's go to bed. We shall rest till tomorrow morning. Good night. Oh, a small cutscene of what's going on. Oh, look, it's Biddy. I think it's BR Bell for the evolution. Oh, well, that can't be good.
That really can't be good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We've annoyed a Pokemon by hitting it with lightning. The next day. Hey, in there. You awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And if you're up, come on out. You rang. Did you sleep all right? I know that's not easy in a strange new land. Oh, tell me about it. I can't even sleep at someone else's house without feeling uneased. We better not keep Captain Silene waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. You got it. And away we go. Right, we're here. Hello. You want to see me? What's up? Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself by prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. A Bidoof, a Starly, and a Shinx. Three right away, but none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will do my best. You Trust me, I will catch a million Bidoof if you want. I will lend you one of the Survey Squad's satchels. Oh, thank you. A little piece of bling. Oh, it's a fanny pack. <laughs> yeah. The, whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Dude, can you just stop insulting me every two seconds? Seriously. Ray, I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's entry child. Yay! Gaiden is now active. Yay. Pardon, Stubbs. Come with me a moment. Is it time? Do I get to choose my starter? Oh my god, it's time. I get to choose my starter. Woo! Boom. Fish splash. Ah, oh, you guys are all cute. Go on, Stubbs. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me. But it's plain to see them rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? I am going straight for Cyndaquil. <laughs> I I'm sorry, but it's Cyndaquil. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. do, 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 do. There he is. Yeah. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've took Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours, my friend. As long as you've got enough Pokeballs. You know what? That is a very nice twist on the original, like, uh, Pokemon giving sound. A word of my advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon while you're out in the field. Queen. Plush. If it's anything like the other games or even the anime, you could just put a sticker on it. They want to chill on their pal Cyndaquil. Or maybe they just wanted to help Stubbs with her trial. Don't worry, you guys, I'll come back for you eventually. That could be well. They did go dashing from the village when Stubbs fell out, <laughs> fell out the sky. After all, well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist with my research for now. For now, he says. I am here at the gate, and who is this blonde, beautiful man? Oh, what a curious get-up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character, and so are you. Clearly by your outfit, you're obviously one of the main characters. I'm Volvo, <laughs> Volvo, I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your merchantile needs here in history. Oh, he's ready. He challenges me to battle. But what Pokemon do you have? He sent out a Togepi. A Togepi, really? Go, Cyndaquil. Yes. Oh my god, you can move about in the battle. That's unique. Cyndaquil, quick attack. I was standing away so it doesn't attack you. Ow. Oh my god, you actually get hit. <laughs> Cyndaquil, quick attack. Oh yeah, I'll defend you. Again, Cyndaquil, quick attack. Aha, it worked. My defense was foolproof. That took me, I had no idea what to do. It wouldn't attack a trainer indiscriminately. 
And away he goes. After that humiliating defeat of me using my body as a shield, he's left. Goodbye now. If you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand. Even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon. The Bidoof, the Starly and the Shinx. Yeah, that's fine. Curious to see if the Professor sorry about your ridge fruit. Let's get started then, shall we? I will show to you that the Professor's stories are true. That I caught three Pokemon dead easily. Even though one of them's in my back pocket now. This is Aspiration Hill. The Obsidian Fieldlands. Look, a Redoof! We're finding the Pokemon you need already. Oh, look at him. He's, they're just doing their own little thing. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what the captain taught me. You can only see how to focus on the Pokemon. That's not too bad. They're mellow, which means they don't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully, let your Pokeball fly, and you ought to be alright. You got it. One, 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 don't look at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did it. He never saw it coming. One Badoof caught. Now we march. Next up is Starly. It's a type to run at the drop of a hat. So it's a skittish Pokemon. Oh, cute. Look at you, you tiny little bird. Not to worry, crouch in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. I will do my best then. Oh, he's gone. Oh, you don't see me, bird. You don't see me. Aha! Did you see that? I call it. Now I call it. <laughs> there it is. Shinx. Whoa. Look at it. It has an aggressive disposition, did you know? It has what? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Don't worry about it, just focus on the Pokemon around you and you figure it out quick enough. Well, that's kind. An aggressive Pokemon, once they get wound up, they'll knock any Pokeball you throw at them. Okay. But not to worry, I'll teach you this trick. You draw them into battle. Okay, next up is Shinx. You aggressive little boy. Watch out. Fight me. Oh, no, nope. I apologize, you aggressive little girl. Bear my ember. Pinx is looking around. For an aggressive Pokemon? I'm, um, kind of just fighting it normal. Oh, I defeated it. You can't knock out Shinx if you want to catch it. Even in, even in battle, catching works the same. Choose an empty Pokeball from your satchel and throw. My guy, I, it was on green. Did I get a crit by accident or something? Oh, it's back. Oh, it's level two. Do I even need to do that? Yeah. Can we just throw Pokeball while it's level two? It's level two. Can't be that hard, can it? Okay, maybe it can. I tell a lie. Maybe it can. Oh, and it's going for the attack. Quick attack it. Okay, now should be fine to catch it. Yeah, I want to fall for the world. Well, yeah. But it, it was a, it was green, and then Ember, and then dead. How's that my fault? That's it. You call the Shinx. Woo! <gasps> did you really? You did it! You did it! That's three species of Pokemon caught. You really have a prodigy. Prodigy. I honestly didn't believe the professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. And here you are with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. Ahem, <laughs> six Pokemon cart, I'll have you know. Congratulations, Stubbs, you've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photo. Cheese. Beardy. I've got to admit, you've got a real talent for this. Now then, we best report to Captain Sileen. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Let's do that, shall we? Back to the captain. 
Yes, we will go back and see Captain Sileen. But first, I want to see if I can have my Pokemon out. There he is. Look at that. You can have them all. Oh, that's amazing. Hello. Hello, buddy. Amazing. This is how I basically was with Pokemon when I was a kid. Being able to walk around with your Pokemon, especially Pokemon Yellow when you first got there and you had Pikachu following you, it was revolutionary compared to Red and Blue. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. What the hell? <laughs> Congratulations, you've de we've decided to let you live. You can now live in the village. You can also keep the satchel, I guess. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Yay! Wow, look how cool we look. We changed outfit. Ah, even she likes it. You changed into your Survey Corps uniform. Back to the captain. And we got a nice hat. Very nice. I like it. But I will be taking it off because the fact that you cannot wear a hat in this game is revolutionary. So I do not want to wear a hat. Now, pre pre yep. now present yourself to the commander. Up the stairs we go, I guess, then. Commander. Where are you? I saw that icon up there. Hello, sir. Look at my moustache. I've been waiting for you. Isn't it amazing? I grew it myself. What do you think? I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are Stubbs. Uh, <laughs> oh god, he scared me. A simple yes or no will do. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Give this old man a hug. No, okay. Face me in combat. Try to throw him or charge at him. You know what? I'm going to try and throw him. Bring it. Go, Stubbs, go. Yeah. <laughs> You've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. He's been absolutely battered by a grown man. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will slow to trust an outsider. You literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might even see your arrival as a portent of a disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village you are. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Stubbs, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Hey, we did it! Yay. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. You're literally worth nothing in this village. If, but if you perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And considering we've only just made the bloody thing, all of us are no ranks. Working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you to your goal. To seek out every last Pokemon. Now the reason I'm telling you this is we are our no banks as well. Hey, recipe for crafting. Neat. One Apricorn and a Tumble Stone. That's not too bad. And three grand. Oh, that three grand's for me. <laughs> I thought I was going to cost that much. You're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our recruit what she needs to know. Ah, thank you. Right, let's go craft, shall we? The game said we can craft. Let's go do it. When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you with materials to craft some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate you passing your trial. And as for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend that however you like. Any recipes you get, you should tell, should tell you the materials you need to complete them. At the workbench, just choose what you want to make. Get crafting. Go on and try it out. There we go, 20 Pokeballs. Yay, we did it. <laughs> That's kind of easy. 
Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that that was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. Hey, a Pogodex. It's a book. <laughs> a volume for compiling and collecting the results of pretty much anything. Yay. We've seen four, caught three because of the Togepi. Yeah. So, are they chronologically going to do anything? Oh, number you've caught, time you've seen it use Ember, time you've seen it use Quick Attack, time you've seen it use Flame Wheel, Strong Move, Agile Move. Well, that's kind of a spoiler. And I'll know all these strong and agile moves, whatever that means. I prefer this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well to seek out all the Pokemon that are in this grand region. Cheers. I'll take plenty of research tasks to get the professor... Uh, to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. If you go into the Feudalands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Also, there's missions and there's side missions in this. I'm standing guard, so I can't quite leave my post. But I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk. Yeah, that's fine. People who have an icon above their head is a request icon. Oh, yeah, so there is missions. All right, let's go talk to him. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wormple. Have you heard of it? Yep. You see, I was having a chat with a Professor Lavington, and he told me about that Pokemon. After it gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution. And so I decided I want to raise a Wormpole myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps. If you catch one, will you let me have it? There'll be a reward for you, I promise. Just catch me a Wormpole if you can. Yep, yeah, I'll catch you one of them. Is there any others? Uh, Crops. Recipes. Items. Hairstyle. Clothing. My home, photography, but there is quite a few requests. Let's actually go get them before we leave. That would be for the best. Right, right, the survey course. One, 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 one. Hi. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do. But I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see a different size one lined up side by side. If there really are bigger BLZs than mine, uh, I'd love to see them alongside the one I have for comparison's sake. So you want me to catch one of those guys? Okay, I can do that. You're a natural when it comes to catching them, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch one bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Sure. If you see... Well, I guess not see. If you hear me mess up words... When I'm speaking through reading, I tend to read a lot quicker than I do speak. So I do apologize if my words do get a bit muddled up at times. It's just years of kind of just reading has kind of hardwired my brain to think that way. So I do my best to slow down, but unfortunately, I kind of skim through and read. And I sometimes forget I have to be the voice. You're not newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Yes, I am. Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to get out and about to complete that po Pokedex they're working on. While on your way, kindly... While on your way... Well, on your way. Oh my god, that does not make sense as a sentence. It should have been while on your way or something. Would you kindly do me a favour and find out all about Starly? Do you see what I mean by I mess up when trying to talk properly? It kind of just messes up. They're certainly terrifying creatures, but when I see one, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see its entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Yeah, okay. So what does she mean by complete? Uh, so what does she mean by complete? If I do... So if I catch 25, catch 20 without being spotted, defeat 15, different forms, I'm guessing that might be male and female, and evolve three of them... I'm guessing that means that it'll be complete. Here at the Clovia, you can purchase new clothing items such as kimonos or shoes. What can I help you with? I would like to buy some clothing if you've got any. Is it not letting me show it? It's a it's a headband. Oh, your outfit doesn't allow you to wear that. Right, so these are everyday kimonos. 
Right, Iggy, sandals, eyeglass. That was weird. Right, so after some fiddling about and messing about, I managed to change my hairstyle. It turns out that the head map, what we got given, wasn't even a hat choice. It was actually the hairstyle. So I ended up wasting a thousand of the poker dollars just trying to change my hair back to this. I know Shinx's ears have odd markings on the inside, but what were they? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the survey corps? If you catch a Shinx, can you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Sure. Uh, do I just... I need to stop pressing L2. I really do. No? Have you got... Oh, I have to actually choose it this way. Okay, that's kind of weird. I thought I could just throw it out. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. Oh, that's it. Its ears have a yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. I'll tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bones are fought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Hey, three potions. I'll take them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we are actually going to explore now. Heading out of the village. Yes, we are. I bought myself a new controller because the game shop near me is slowly going under. Everything's on sale. It's 20% off, 30% off. So I bought this enhanced controller. I don't know. It's basically just a Pikachu Meowth one. It looks kind of nice. I thought it was kind of cool. Figured Pokemon themed because I'm playing Pokemon. Right, so let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, I have many great research tasks I'll need you to help carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Yes, we discovered that last episode. You must catch, battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now, there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Stubbs. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Look, just watch me and then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go. My god, he's a Dark Souls character. Look at him go. He's light rolling. That's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by first attacks of wild Pokemon. And that's the key you'd rather not end up blacked out in the field like I did. When those shinks got me with Thundershock, I might have been done for if the security call hadn't come save me. But hey, not to worry, you've got me here to give you tips, I'll teach you plenty. Right, focus on the button with LZ and pull down your Pokedex to open, you'll see what... Oh, that's kind of neat. Do you see that, that your research tasks for produce include how many you've caught? That's right, catching one just won't do, you've got to catch two, then four, then more. <laughs> Bidu's just like, huh? Wait, what? Do you have to do what to me? So what did he say I do? I look at it and press down. Oh yeah, number caught, 25, number of heavy species, number defeated, number of different forms you've obtained. You coming with me, Bidoof? Good for you, cutscene Bidoof. Hi. You look like a big Bidoof. Come on, get in. Hey. You're just going to keep catching them on the way. Number of heavy species you've caught to. I was right, it was a big to do. <laughs> wow, back in my day, Pokemon used to be hard to catch. Now you can just walk up to them. I know I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus Pokemon to check what research tasks you have. Check it for the Starly next. Okay. Once your task is to catch Starly without being spotted, you can get that done if you're hiding tall grass. But if I'm doing all of these tasks... You must have different ones, correct? Follow me to learn some tricks. Oh my god, the size of that style there, look. This one here. Hi. And your little friend, too. Yep. Damn it. Push up. There we go, that's kind of bad. That's kind of not bad, it's kind of not bad. I'm learning, I'm learning. Wait, before we do that. Go, Cyndaquil, get me that stuff. Wait, where did you go? 
Or was he never <laughs> here to begin with? Syndicate leveled up. Woo! You have to be very sneaky when catching these Pokemon. Oh, there's a worm puller that guy wanted. Yeah, I'll get one of them. Hi, Wormpull. Are you going to run away from me? Hey. You coming with me? Someone wants you. Come on. You know you want to. Hey. No, you don't. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Yeah. Oh, my God. You're bigger than my Cyndaquil. Quick. Ember. Oh, wait. It's super effective. No. <laughs> Wormpull. <laughs> Number defeated one. No. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Hello, tiny Whirlpool. Quack. You coming with? Hey, there we go. Now we've got one for that guy. Where'd he go? Hello? Oh, there you are. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. If you take further damage and the edge of the screen turn red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Speaking of which, your research has... Include seeing a certain move. You've got to see the move in battle for it to count. So battling key is extra key here. I'll go on ahead. Come catch up once you've checked off some of its tasks. You're coming with me. I don't think that one was big, though. That's it. You caught it. Congratulations. We did it. I don't know what that is, but give me... Is that a fire? That is a fire. Oh, no, it's part of the beach. Oops. <laughs> What's up, Bidoof? Right, so let's actually ask these people what's going on. You should have your Pokemon Smash Rocks for you, your fine tumble stones. They're key for catching Pokemon. I already know that, because I've just done that. I saw something shiny over there. That's why we were going a moment. I need more of those Bielzos things. Go oh, Cyndaquil. Good job. Go Cyndaquil. I need a big one of these guys. You look quite big. Oh. So do you. Oh. Come on. Get in the ball. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh. You look tall. You're coming with me. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Hey. Yeah, he looks kind of tall, don't he? Look at that. About half of my height. Go, Pokeball. You're coming with me. Not too bad, about half my height. I'd say that's pretty tall for a Pokemon. <laughs> that thing just popped in. Just, hello. Eevee. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, Eevee. No, you don't. 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 Pokemon. Get here. Hey. That's going on the team. Can I get Umbreon in this? Oh, hello. Hello, little one. Are you friendly? No, you're not. What? Hey, Wimpo. No. Yes. If you try escaping again, I will battle you. <laughs> I told you. If you try escaping again, I'll battle you. Got it. No confusion. But if don't just stand there, roll out. Oh my God, that's so bloody um, strong. Go Pokemon, catch that mine. Yes. That's another one done. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Can I heal my Pokemon anyway? Oh my god, the size of that Starly. Not you, the one behind you. You. Get here, you big giant bird. 
It's a level four star. I want that star to come with me. Number you've caught without being spotted. Right, before I go back to him, I need to quickly heal. Away we go. <laughs> I found, I want to find giant Pokemon. I think I've seen it as a trend for everyone and their mother of, oh, if you're playing Pokemon, get the biggest ones you can because it's cool. I want to do that as well. I am basic in that regard. But I do want this Eevee. I do like that we can, that we can have an Eevee. That's actually ridiculously fun that we can have one so early. And the fact that you get XP just from letting them do mundane tasks is kind of neat. You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Oh. But I've just... Uh, okay. Oh, you can only use materials in your satchel. So if you store materials, you can use it at the bench. But if you keep them with you, you can use them anywhere. That's kind of cool. Yay, crafting potions. An orange berry and a medicinal leak. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricot and a stone, you can make a Pokeball anytime. Or with an oven berry and a medical leak, you can whip up a potion. Thank you. I appreciate that. Research going all right. You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in at Pokedex's cover. Yeah, so if I look at, say, Cyndaquil, I need it to use Quick Attack 11 more times. Uh, I need to learn Flame Wheel, and I need to use Strong Move and Agile Move. So with the move mastered, I'm guessing that's where you get Strong and Agile from. And you've done some tasks, I'll see you soon. Okay, let's actually go look about for more Pokemon then, shall we? So how much of this area can we actually explore then? Because I saw the guy on the bridge, and I'm guessing if by old Pokemon standards, he just doesn't let us through. But if I go about, can I just catch random Pokemon? I need to catch 25 of you. Five light species, not get caught by 10, defeat 25, and see it use Poison Sting. Can I just... Oh, so all Pokemon in your party gain XP. That's kind of neat. You didn't see anything, little guy. So how far this way can we go? So it definitely seems like one of those go out, do missions, come back, see what your progress is. Yep. Where are you going? No. Oh, bad worm. Yeah, so is there any other Pokemon besides Wormpole, Beuzel? Well, we need to catch the giant Beuzel, actually. Are you tall? You look kind of tall. I don't have one on me to gauge. Hi. Yeah. You do look kind of tall. Let's see. Yeah, no, you're kind of halfway on me again. Right. Run the shock. Nice. You can look around all you want. I'm going to capture you. You will be mine, Beazal. You will be mine. Because we need a big one in here. What about you? What do I need for you? Heavy species. I feel bad like it's called a heavy species. It's like, yeah, just go out and catch the big ones. But what about over this way? We've not explored there yet where all the rocks are. I want to have a good go at just seeing this world because this is how I wanted Pokemon to be. You know, you go out, maybe not the catching mechanics, but... Having them be in the overworld. Oh my god, that's a giant Rapidash. Hello. Why do you have red eyes, big Rapidash? Why are you so different? And what is that over there? Oh. Daddy. You haven't seen me. Oh. Steady. Just stay down. Growing on him, Pepe. Maybe we can catch it. Don't you want the almond, baby? Come on, you know you want it. How about a cherry berry then instead? Are these not good enough for you?
Y'all haven't seen me. Y'all haven't seen me. I'm gonna take this. Oh! No, no. <laughs> Shit. Oh! Come on. Okay, no, that just was immediate now. Alright, I'll leave you alone then. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it just gets out straight away. There's no way I'm catching that. <laughs> Why did it have red eyes? That's a bit different. Hi. Yeah, don't worry, little shinks. I'm not fighting you. I'm going this way. Look at him, he's chasing me. <laughs> oh god, are you trying to attack? Go away! Where's your mother? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you? Are you? Oh, he's just spawning. Hello, Laverton. When you submit reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you caught. You'll receive more money if you've fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching them for the first time. You've made good progress on these research task stubs. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report to Captain Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. I'm a star. I can't believe it. I'm a star. Why do we have a loading screen now? What happened to the plain bowling black? So I haven't done her job over there. Yours. But we did catch you a wormhole. So let's talk to you first. Hello. Hey, you got a wormhole you could give me? Yes, I did. I will give you this one. The first one we caught. Yes. You really brought me one. That, you must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wormpole right away. Now, I've been told the Wormpole will evolve into Pokemon known as Beautify. So I should give it a name with that in mind. What are you going for? This is a tough decision. Which of these do you like? Beauticia, Beautifred, or Bougine? Eh, Beauticia. I like that too. I guess it's decided then. I'll raise Beauticia into a splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. <laughs> Ah, oh, Wormpole seems happy about it. Good for you, Wormpole. And some dazzling honey for me. Worm, worm. Good for you, Wormpole. Now let's see if we've completed this guy's task as well. I love this music. It's so peaceful. Alright, let's talk to Silene. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. Yes. With this, you officially attain the rank of first in the Galaxy Expedition team. Yeah, I got my first gym badge, technically. I'm equivalent of. I'm not sure how this game works. Hey, Stubbs, before I go meet Mai about the request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Yeah, sure. I can kick your ass away. Great, I'll be at the training grounds. If you've been catching lots of Pokemon, you can change up your team at the pastures, just so you know. That's cool. I don't think I'm going to keep all Pokemon, though. I want to kind of keep one of each. Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. Oh, look, he's got a Starly. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. Yeah, uh, is everything all right? I don't understand that anyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member and I've seen... And I've even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. You have a Pokemon? That's right. Take a look at my very own partner. It's Pikachu, the mascot! Because we needed to pull it somewhere. It's my Pikachu. During that attack, I should have had Pikachu fight by my side, but my mind went blank. And really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? Yeah! <laughs> but watching you at work completing those research has convinced me. If I want to do my survey core work well, my partner and I have got to be a team. And our first step to being a real team is to battle yours! Yeah! Hmm. You're going to get absolutely destroyed by my Cyndaquil. Oh, he's challenging me to a battle. Oh, there's Pikachu. Go, Cyndaquil. Kick his ass. Oh, what? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, what's this? Oh, yeah, there it is. Strong and agile. I, 
Uh, what does a plus mean? Paralyzed for five turns. Oh, that's kind of cool. And if we press Y, we can see the attack thing. Uh, strong style, go! Damn it. Again, strong style. Good job. Oh, wait, now strong style. Oh, yeah, so I just can't use strong style, apparently. It keep, leaves me, um... Stop. Damn. <laughs> Eevee, it's your turn. Maybe this is fate. Eevee versus Pikachu. Quick attack. Oh, we've almost won, Eevee. We've almost won. Finish it off with a single quick attack. Go! Yes. That's my boy. The battle has been decided. Eevee is the winner. Wow, you're so in sync with your Pokemon. I really wasn't. I really wasn't. I tried to be, but my Pokemon kind of, uh, you know, they kind of stayed paralyzed. That was amazing. The way you fight is alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. Years of practice, my guy. We'll just have to catch up with him as best we can, right, Pikachu? Yeah. Fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendly with one another. You know what? You did your best, Cyndaquil, and that's all I can ask for you. So thank you. So I still need to finish off Starly for her request. I need a 2.8 inch... Um... What is it? Beelzel. Those will be on the list. Am I heading outside? Yes, I am. 